Hey Libra, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your reading for the weekend. That was High Priestess wanted to come out. She did not commit. But the Emperor did. And also, just so you know, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles was on the fence. So overall, I feel like you're trying to take control of something. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. We're going to clarify a little more. That was too many. All right, fine. We'll do it. Emperor, Aries, potentially. Uh, but there's also just this, like, boss vibe. Someone's got it under control. Someone's taking care of business. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like if this is you, you just don't have time for BS. You've got stuff to do. It's going to happen. But potentially you might need a little help with this stuff. And with the moon, something's not fully out there yet. With this Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Moon. Somebody wants to take this energy that you have that's very, like, not tough, but, um, you know, no one's going to mess with you, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. So with the Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Moon, someone kind of wants to seize this energy about you. Or seize, you know, what you got going on and kind of is like, Yo, I like this with this Ace of Cups. Like, would you care for it? But with the moon, I don't think you feel like it's fully hatched or you have to take something on faith that you're not completely comfortable with yet. There's something about it where you're like, you're like, you want me to give up this for, for like this nebulous, I don't know. So I want one on the moon here. The Empress. Yeah, you want me to start something and it's beautiful and all, but I also don't know everything about it. Because, you know, it, male or female, the Emperor and the Empress are like, you know, boss energy. And you have it, but there also might be a, a hiccup on how you express that boss energy. But the Empress, in a way, almost doesn't need that clarity because she's like, hi, I'm the Empress. You know me. I'm on the list. So, <laughs> yeah, just put that velvet rope down. And this actually wanted to come out reversed. So five of Pentacles reversed. You can't leave me out. I'm the Empress. Now, I don't think this is, I feel like this is coming towards you. I don't feel like this is you putting something out and you're not 100% sure what's going to happen and you're kind of not enjoying that unsurety unsurety is that a word but we have the fool you gotta jump there's a you gotta jump vibe and just kind of trust the process and that's like one of the worst things you could ever like I know for myself if someone tells me to trust the process I'm like yeah no that's <laughs> that's not a good enough reason so what journey is being embarked on? Queen of Wands. You, you have three queens here. What you're thinking, what you're doing, and the path you're taking to do it. There's an execution of the plan that you need to be doing. Which is death, son, three of wands. I feel like as opportunities present themselves, you got to get on it. Three of Wands, you might want to sit there, but Death Card says no. Like, you can't wait for the ships to come in. You know, I feel like I want to be like, build your own ship. Get out there. Let's go. Because with the sun, when the opportunity comes, it's like the strike while the iron's hot vibe. Because over here, you know, you have, you know, like, I feel like something gets recognized about you and something comes in. That sounds good, but at the same time, you're like, I don't know. But like I said, Libra, you're on the list. Tell that bouncer you're on the list. Six of Wands and Two of Pentacles. You're on the list, Libra. And Two of Pentacles. I want one on this because it's 
Two of Pentacles lately has either been going wishy-washy or feeling balanced. I want to get which way this is going here. Two of Pentacles for Libra is Two of Wands. If it's wishy-washy, you need to make decisions. You need to decide this is what we're doing. This is where we're going. And I think this is a cute card because it has a key on one end and a lock on the other. So you yeah, gotta put them together. And you gotta like unlock it and let's go. So if you aren't feeling wishy-washy or non-committal or like, I don't know, be, like be quiet. Like you're already on the list. So Libra, let's see here. Any blockages, any obstacles, you're watching, you're waiting with this fox, you know. But you got to stop it because here's the star and here's lilies, which is destiny. This is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune card. It's like, um, that's the universe being like, get off your duff. If there's anything you've been sleeping on, set the alarm clock. You're not allowed to hit snooze either. It's going to be, oh, excuse me, it doesn't even want to say it. That's a surprise card. So anything that you've kind of been like in a holding pattern on, there might be a, a t or like going slow, but like you really do want it. You know, don't, I'm hearing this like status quo, something's fake. So, like there's, there's an inauthenticity that is going to get the boot. And then here's the letter, which is some kind of communication. Like I said, something's coming at you that sees, you know, um, what is that saying? It's, I forget if it's namaste or whatever it is, but it's like the divine in me recognizes the divine in you. Like be prepared for some, like you, you're seeing things for real and you're recognizing things. So remember I said there's that key in the lock on that card there you need to make decisions and this the side can be about reaping what you sow doesn't necessarily have to be about chopping things out but whatever new beginning there's a reaping what you sow and the key is like doing it all right libra so get out there tiger <laughs> sorry but that's what we have libra and i'll talk to you later